Hello friends, welcome to Codesys tutorial where we are talking about the PLC programming and the different hardware PLC. So Codesys support multiple runtime for different hardware and different PLCs. So today I am going to take you through uh, one of the runtime which is for the PFC 200 Vago PLC. So let's check it out how we can install the runtime and start with the Vago PLC. So in order to do that, we first need to go to the code source installer, click on the change and select for the PFC. So we will get two options, PFC 100 and PFC 200. So I'm using the PFC uh, 200 version of the uh, Vago PLC. So I'm going to install that particular version. If you, you are using PFC 100, then we can also install PFC 100. So we need to follow the guidelines get we are getting in the pop-up and it will take some time to install the package of pfc 200 into our pc basically so after we get that package into our pc then we can install that in the plc pfc 200 so it will take some time to get it installed So once it will get installed, it will give us the pop-up there that it is installed. And then when we open the Codices ID, uh, when we go to the tools, we can see that we have got an option there as update PFC 200. We need to click there so it will open the update uh, PFC uh, in, in the side left sidebar. We will get a menu where we can, we need to put the username and password so basically the default username is root and vago and then uh, we need to select uh, with which plc we are connected we need to select uh, the ip and then we need to install the runtime so runtime uh, we need to select which version of the runtime we are going to install so let me show you my yeah so we have we will get all the options here and we have to click on the install so whatever the version you have to install, we can select and we can just click on the install part. So once we click on the install, it will start installing the Codesys runtime into the Vago PLC. Okay. So it will take here also some time to get it installed. So here it will give the ask you the option to install some gateway also uh, that is up to us whether we want to install that or not it is not a mandatory and after that we will get installed we need we can click on the system info then we will get that which version of whatever that we have installed it will show here that this particular version is installed so by this we have installed the runtime into the plc now okay so let me go okay so let me create a project yeah we will select all the options so if you see here yeah we need to scan So we will get here the option to uh, put username and password for the first time because now with Codesys runtime, latest versions, it become for, for the first time it is mandatory. After that we can uh, uh, change that these options also. Uh, how to change, I have provided the details in our Codesys installation part in another video. So I am just creating the username and password and uh, then we will get connected with the particular plc okay so we have created the project 
now uh, let's uh, download this particular project into the plc so we need to click on the login and then it will go and download the project into the plc so it will compile it will generate the code and then it is downloaded the code in the plc so by default it will go into the stop mode we will click on the run and then if you see uh, this particular io part uh, it is showing with a red triangle so we can right click and scan the ios and then we can copy to the project okay so it it copies all the ios to the project so let me do one more time i think i selected so I scan for the io copy to the devices to the project so all the io module which are connected to the plc will get uh, copied to the project okay so now we can go offline and we can download again once we download again it will go to the stop mode and when we click on the run all the io module which are connected will uh, become healthy and they start communicating basically so communicating means uh, all the io modules will be scanned and it will be shown here so io channel will not be communicating because they are not at used so in uh, whether it is any hardware uh, so code is runtime until and unless uh, the io channels are not utilized they will not be getting scanned okay so that is a default feature in, in order to scan or use any io channel we have to assign some variable and use that variable into the program okay so that is how it is we can do so let me show you exactly how we can do so either you can use this addresses directly or you can uh, create a variable and assign it to the particular channel so let me create one variable with a array of 8 basically of boolean and then we can uh, assign this particular variable to the channel and also call that in the execution of the program okay so copy and paste it here and give the other number so we have put that and we can browse the same variable from application program and the variable name and assign the first array element save it and download it Oh, there is some compile error so let me correct that i think something i missed okay i missed here the semicolon at the end so let's fix that and log in with download so we have logged in so let me sh show you uh, the hardware how exactly it will be so on the io channel also so let me now uh, play with the io channel so we will toggle the values of a particular variable and see it on the hardware also so if we see we toggled uh, the led two led got on when we make it off those two led will get off on the hardware itself why two led because uh, the output is i have looped it back to the input so i'll show you uh, how exactly it is getting done so this was for the output so let me define uh, uh, one input also so let me define the array for the input and assign these variables in the io channel so let's uh, use uh, di card one
ओके मिनट में पुट इट हियर एंड लेट सेव कंपाइल वी विल असाइन इट दिस वेरिएबल टू द आयो कार्ड so let's go to the io card and assign this variable that we have not done yet so like uh, we'll take some different one go to application and browse and then assign the other number we can copy and paste it also and we have to change the other number okay so now we have uh, connected and let's download the program so now if you see we have assigned three variables to three different channels and uh, one output so three input one output so let me make it true the output the input become true and if you see the di3 is becoming true because that is how i have looked back so if we will make it false everything will become false and the io channel also become false so this is how exactly uh, it will get connected and the io will work in the wago plc so this is the basic uh, uh, structure and setup for the wago plc and uh, that's all for this particular video thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one